Hey, this is EJ with True Natural Bodybuilding. I'm here with Shanna Downard, and uh, she is a physique and bodybuilding competitor in the ABA. And uh, she's here to show us one of her awesome recipes. And so, Shanna, what are we making? We're making peanut butter kisses. All right, man, let's do it. All right. Need a bowl and a spoon. <laughs> and the first ingredients is protein powder. You need a scoop of protein powder. Now, what kind of protein are you using? I use Body Evolution, but you can use any kind you'd like, chocolate, vanilla. It's what? just like your normal way? Yes, protein? yes. It, can, can people use like casein or any other type of protein? Yes, any kind, you, any kind anybody would like, yes. So you get a scoop of protein powder, a cup of peanut butter, and I just use creamy peanut butter. <laughs> the all natural kind though, right? Exactly. It has to be natural. It can't be anything but. <laughs> she gets real technical. Oh yes. <laughs> Measure it out here mm -hmm. really good. That does look pretty dang good though. I love peanut butter. All right, you throw the peanut butter in. And then you need a quarter cup of oat. So, so that was a quarter cup, right? A quarter cup of peanut butter? Or you got two? That was a cup of peanut butter. A cup. A cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of oats. It's my kind of. You're kind of yeah. macros. <laughs> a cup of oats. I mean, a quarter cup of oats. I'm sorry. Quarter cup of oats. A little bit of stevia for sweetener, or you could use honey if you'd like. About an eighth of a cup. And it calls for an egg, but I don't have an egg, so we're gonna just pretend like we have an egg and we'll use egg whites today. Now, it doesn't matter like for yolk, because I know some, some things use the yolks as like a, like a base, as a stabilizer um, for like any kind of cookies or anything like that, so. It doesn't make any difference, no. Okay. No, nope, it'll uh, mix up really good. And I know by, because I've done this numerous times, that an eighth is a one egg. <laughs> there you go. So you got one egg, and then it calls for two tablespoons besides that. So we got the tablespoon. So an eighth cup and two tablespoons? So one, if you're substituting your egg, yes, one and two tablespoons. The nice thing about using egg whites is that takes away the, the saturated fat. Correct. And just leaves the protein. Correct, yes. And so we're getting all the good fats from the peanut butter, uh, from the all natural peanut butter. You know, all your polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats. Yes, instead of the fats that we get out of the egg. And then it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla, just for a little added flavor. And about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we'll post this recipe for you. Yeah, it will be on the TrueNaturalBodybuilder.com slash blog, or the blog page. And so. Oh, well, that's <laughs> not going to work there. <laughs> okay, and then we mix these ingredients all together. Mix it all. All right, and then you can get your hands a little, a little messy. Right. Or you can try to do it with, with just the spoon, but I do it with my hands. 
This reminds mm. me of uh, when my mom used to make no bake cookies. And there, it's just about like a no bake cookie, yeah. yeah. Just about like a no bake cookie. Just make little balls, about an inch and a half. And it should make about, oh, 12 to 18 cookies. And then when you make these balls, you toss them in the, or you put your thumb in the middle of them. And then you bake them for about seven minutes. What does the thumb put in the middle do? Makes a spot for the chocolate chip to go in. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate nice. kiss. <laughs> you like a milk chocolate or dark no, chocolate? No, dark chocolate. A dark chocolate Hershey's kiss. Nice. Can never go bad with Hershey's, right? All right. Or if you don't have a Hershey's chocolate kiss, I've used just chocolate chips, dark chocolate chocolate chips. And uh, you just cook it for about seven minutes and then put those in and cook them another three minutes and they turn out pretty good. Put your thumb in the middle of them all. Wipe your hands off. Toss them in the oven for about seven minutes. Well, we're about ready to take the cookies out and put the chocolate chips in. So here we go. So you bring them out. They look just like that. And I take since I don't have any chocolate, Hershey chocolate kisses, I just take a few of these, put them in the middle. Try to put them in the middle anyway. Just a couple in each one. They smell freaking good. <laughs> Too bad you didn't have smell-o-vision, huh? <laughs> yeah, they smell awesome. It is too bad. Then that would do it. Boy, everybody would be hungry right at the moment. <laughs> All right, then we put them back in for three more minutes. Okay, well, it's about time to pull the cookies out. And there you have them. And you don't burn yourself with this because it would hurt. And I just take my spoon. Oh, and we got to turn the beeper off because it doesn't turn itself off. It should. Yes, I agree. <laughs> All right, we made 12 cookies here. The mackerels, if you were to make 18, there would be 98 calories in the cookie, seven fats, four carbs, and six proteins. We bumped ours up just a little bit with only making 12 cookies. And so with the fats, you have to remember this is, these are good fats, you know, the, from the natural peanut butter, so you're polyunsaturated, monounsaturated fats. Um, and so you can include them in your macros, um, especially if you're, you're on, you know, some competition diet or anything like that. Um, then you'd have to, of course, be careful with, with the sugar intake. Um, but this is an awesome, Awesome rendition to, uh, to change up your diet a little bit, give it a little variation, and uh, it's it's awesome. So let's try it. I want to try. Do you want to try one? Don't burn you, but go ahead and try one. <laughs> Will it come off? Do I need to? You got it. It's gonna burn you. Don't burn you. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That is awesome. They're hot. They are definitely way hot. They are pretty good. All right, I wanted to uh, thank Shanna for showing us this awesome cookie recipe. And uh, you know, you can go onto our website, truenaturalbodybuilder.com, go to our blog, and the recipe will be there. And uh, 
thanks a lot for watching and hope you got something new out of it. Catch you on truenaturalbodybuilder.com. <laughs>